Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so excited you're here. Today I am actually doing my 2021 Crafty Resolution Hop. This is my first quarter update and I have art journaling that I've been wanting to do for some time uh, in this well, just any art journal, really. My intention, my goal, my resolution was to do a page a week. And this is my Dilusions art journal. It's my very first one that I ever got. And I just practiced backgrounds on this for years. And so this is what I'm working with. Some of them are done, like that one is a finished page. And some of them, the majority of them are not. And I wanted to complete this album this year just to finally have an art journal that was done. So that's what my resolution was. And so I needed to finish up um, 13 pages by today, which I have done. And I'm gonna share those with you right now. Excuse the noise in the background, got people at home. All right, so I decided that the first page would be to do my 2021 word, which is implement. Um, and the thing is with this, with this book, I am literally having to work with the next page in the book. So I'm not choosing what backgrounds. It's like I flip to the next page. That's what I have to work on. And I just have to make it work. So it's a little bit scary, but it's also kind of cool to have that challenge in mind. So this was the second week. I am no longer a slave to sin. I'm a child of God. And then this one is the third week which is, I don't mean to brag, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my life. And these two pages were super easy because the majority of it was done and I just had to add in those journaling. However, the journaling on this took me a lot longer than I had anticipated because I use alphabet stamps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that took about, oh, an hour to punch, to stamp that all up, line it out, cut it out, and then pop it on. So even though, it should have been easy. It really wasn't. And I learned from then on to try to do write my handwrite or or find um, stickers that have words on them to make it easier. Then this is the next one that I did. I am not a whoop. I am a teller of unpopular truths. Um, I really love doing faces and hair. So that's what that's about. This one was I did on January 26th and I actually um, took lyrics from Hamilton, which is life doesn't discriminate between the sinners and saints. It takes and it takes, but we live anyways. We rise, we fall, break, and we make our mistakes. I'm not falling behind or running late. I'm not standing still, I'm lying and wait. He seems to thrive when I have barely emotionally survived that, um, then damn it, I am willing to wait for it. So that is just that. And again, you know, I, you're gonna see some real stuff in here from time to time with things that I may be struggling with, feeling, or have struggled with in the past. <coughs> pardon me this one isn't like my favorite page I really loved how the background on this went so I just added on some die cuts did some doodling around, around it and um this is think hard before you uh before you sign and be you the world who will adjust and then um this is another one where I had done this this and so I just added some white journaling with some stuff that I was feeling in that and then boom there we go this one was pretty much done for the most part added some sparklies this is my least favorite page so far that I did it was a, um, a collage and then I just put on um some of the Diane Reevely um die cuts she has like a collage sheet so I cut them out and I I went around with a paint pen and uh, outlined it and then don't be ridiculous a real woman is never too old and then I just splattered some acrylic uh, glossy spray I think that's what it is by Dina Wakely I'll have stuff listed down below if you want to know what I used this one okay so now now we're getting into something that I'm super excited about um, this is actually a die cut it's a digital art and I cut it out it's by his palette and if you use, it's an Etsy store. And I contacted her and I said, oh my gosh, I really love what you do. And she's like, hey, I'll give your followers 10% off if they use the code BETS10. So if you go over to her Etsy store, I have it listed down below. It's not an affiliated link. It's just something I'm providing for you guys. Um, but you can get her digital art 
for 10% off. So I always have it printed at Staples on um, the heaviest weight cardstock and it's beautiful. And also you'll see some alcohol ink coloring too. And I've been uploading how I create some of these process videos as well. So make sure that you follow me and subscribe, hit that notification because um, yeah, you can see the process on this one. I do have it on my YouTube channel coming up if it's not out already. So this is putting my pieces together to find my piece. Little play on words there because that's a gel press puzzle piece that just came out this month. And then this is, an, this is one, um, letting go of every single dream. I lay each one down at your feet. Every moment of my wandering never changes what you see. I've tried to win this war. I confess my hands are weary. I need your rest. Mighty warrior, king of the fight. No matter what I face, you're by my side. When you don't move the mountains, I'm needing you to move. When you don't, and then it goes on and on and on. So this is just another one. I was doing a struggle. I heard a song, really enjoyed it, decided to put it into this. And then this one, and again, that's that same, his palette. Then this one, pure vulnerability, pure vulnerability is beautiful. I love this page. This I used, again, with that digital um, art. And then uh, the Calico Collage, one of their kits. And to adhere, I use a couple different things. This works really well. It is the Creative Diary Diary Glue Stick. And then I love Ultra Thick Gel Medium. You can put this down first and then put it down over the picture. It's so pretty. And it, it holds beautifully. I just love it. And then this one is my most recent one and the last one that I have done. And it's when you are forced to stay silent, all the words build up in your heart. It eventually breaks. You cry and water the seeds of grief. The seeds bloom if you let them into beautiful flowers. So that was the one that I did recently to put me at 13. So I am right on track for this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this little flip through of my art journal and my next 13 pages will be this one this one actually seven i'm counting in my head i'm gonna i hate this one so i'm gonna get just over that eight nine and then i don't know what i'm gonna do on that that's gonna be ten and then that also. And that will be 13. And then at that point, I should be halfway through this. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm on track to finish the, the art journal. So make sure you go check out the other crafters that are participating in this um, 2021 Crafty Resolution Hop. Consider giving them a follow if you're enjoying what they put out. Uh, my content on my channel, if you guys are new here, is arts and crafts, paper crafting, things like this. So if you enjoy this, please definitely subscribe to my channel so you can get more of it. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and it so helps us when you share. If by chance you saw this video over on Facebook, you can actually like this video over on Facebook too. I found out that that plays into uh, how the SEO um, powers of B look favorably on your channel, which I did not know. All right, you guys, I am Bets Golden. Until next time, happy crafting.